Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Talal and today in this video I'll be talking about the importance of time management on the digital SAT and I'll talk about three reasons why students actually fail to manage the time on the digital SAT right now you know along with understanding all the concepts and along with understanding all the approaches it's very important that we understand that we have limited time on the SAT right so we have 27 questions and we have around 32 minutes to solve those 27 questions in each of the module for the reading and writing section right now why students fail to perform firstly is they fail to understand how much time do they have for every question so you have a little over one minute maybe one minute and 10 seconds for solving each of the questions now if you don't practice according to that time what will happen is that if you take for example one minute 50 seconds or maybe two minutes to solve one question those extra 50 60 seconds that you have taken to solve one question you'd have to you know adjust that in the upcoming questions and naturally you will have less amount of time for the questions that would remain right so if you fail to understand all these dynamics of eventually what will happen is that you won't be able to solve your question paper in your given time right and obviously that will directly impact the score that you will generate right now in this video we'll talk about three things that if you work on normally you will you will not have a problem with time management on the digital SAT right the first thing is actually that you don't understand the concepts right students don't understand the concepts right so if the students fail to understand the concepts is students Students fail to understand the approach to any question naturally if I see that question on the paper I will end up spending more time on that right and if I know the approach if I know the formula if I know how to solve that question naturally you know I'll be solving that question in even you know less time that is destined or that is you know uh, allotted to that question so if we understand the approach to any question for example if there is a question of subject verb agreement and I understand how to solve the questions of subject verb agreement and what we actually have to do in subject verb agreement if you see if I see for example a question of subject verb agreement it will be very easy for me to get about that question but on the other hand if I do not understand the concept I'll be like what should be I'll be thinking about what would make sense what would be the right thing and I'll be wasting a lot of time on that and eventually you know I would end up you know giving it more time than it is than is than is destined for it right or then is allotted for it right so that will be a problem so if you understand the approaches and if you understand the concept of every question or the concept that is required for every question you will end up you know doing all those questions in time so that is very important that you do that now the second problems that the students normally have is the lack of practice right so even after understanding the concept if you do not understand how to apply those concepts on every questions within the time that you are allotted with obviously you will falter and you will fail to complete the entire module and the entire test in the long run in the given time that is allotted right and how would you you know get that how would you understand that that can only happen if you practice the tests if you practice those questions continuously you know on a daily basis if you do that then only you will understand how can you you know solve that question in the given time that you have right so if there is a lack of practice if you're not doing it consistently if you're not solving the practice test if you're not you know going through th those questions on a daily basis if you're not analyzing the mistakes that you are making and working on them if you're not doing all of this on a daily basis naturally you will feel like you know you cannot solve the questions in the given time and that pressure would translate onto the questions that follow right and eventually you will have a bad test and you will have a bad score or you will have a low score and you would never understand why you are getting a low score even after understanding every topic that you have done right so that is a problem and you have to understand and work on it and that will only happen if you do those questions or practice those questions every day right now the third problem that normally most students have is that you know they fail to manage the test pressure right so there's a, there are a lot of things that go along with understanding the test right that is the environment of the test right when you go for the test day you see a lot of students over there you feel that pressure there is an pressure of exam environment right you can remember the first time you give your o level you gave your o levels or maybe a levels or the first time you gave your high school exams you know the f there is a difference 
between the time where you gave those exams the first time and you know the tenth time that you are giving those exams that is why that is the reason for that is that you absorb you start absorbing the test pressure and once you start doing that it, be, it naturally becomes easier easier with time right so when you know you are go, giving it especially for the first time it is the exam pressure that will you know that will make it difficult for you right so you have to keep your nerves calm. You have to make sure that you have everything in order. You have to make sure that you have practiced enough so that you are confident on the test day. You have to make sure that, you know, you do those those exercises that can you that can you know keep you calm you know for example deep breathing and you know uh, visualizing that you know you will be uh, doing it all right and being confident is very important right so if you manage the pressure on the test day you will automatically be able to apply all the practice and the concepts that you've understood on the other hand if you fail to do that naturally on the test day it will be a problem for you and because of that test pressure you may goof up on the test or you may falter on the test even after understanding all the practice tests, all the concepts and you know even after doing all that practice that you have done for so many days for so many months right even after that you may falter on the test so your objective should be to perform in those two 2.5 hours on the test day and make the best of it right so these are the three things or these are you know from many other factors these are the three major factors that that hinders or that you know uh, that stops students uh, that prevents students from managing the time and completing the paper in the time that is allotted if you work on these three factors if you understand all the concepts if you practice on a daily basis if you you know end up managing the test pressure eventually you will feel like and you'll see that your score will improve and you'll have a score that you need for your desired university all over the world wherever you want to go i hope this video helped you this is this was talal hussain signing off thank you so much